the study uh, focuses in particular uh, on patients from the U.S. Um, and and this is a, a significant uh, cohort of patients. Um, the, the the total population was uh, more than 250 patients per arm. Um, here we're looking at um, about uh, 40 in the Bosutinib arm and 50 in the Imatinib arm uh, that were treated in the U.S. and and looking at at how these responses compared to those patients uh, from other countries that were enrolled in this study. And uh, so uh, a couple of uh, elements that, that stand out, the response continues to be very good with these long-term follow-up. Um, the rates of major molecular response are uh, maybe almost 75%. Uh, and very importantly, the rates of the uh, MR4.5 are uh, also very high, more than 35%. Uh, we do see some differences between the U.S. patients and the non-U.S. patients. Um, the MR4.5 in particular, in the U.S. is 35.9%, uh, whereas in the non-U.S. patients is 49%. So a higher rate of uh, MR4.5, um, it is difficult to assess uh, what, what are the reasons for this difference, um, but, uh, but, the, but there is uh, a higher rate of, uh, of these deeper molecular responses. The safety profile um, is similar in both populations. There's not uh, much of a difference. Perhaps a little bit more frequent diarrhea in the U.S., um, although the, the 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 diarrhea, as we know very well, tends to be just grade one or grade two in most instances, and and manageable in the overwhelming majority of uh, of patients. And uh, so overall, this analysis confirms the benefit of bosutinib, uh, high efficacy, uh, a very uh, acceptable toxicity profile, and and certainly confirms that it's a good treatment option for our patients in the uh, frontline setting.